Today we're gonna check out how to make this Garangi Oval badge logo here in Illustrator. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is go here to the fill. Click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top. And I'm gonna select the circle and I'm gonna make an oval like this. From here, I'm gonna go to the object, path, and select offset path. And I'm gonna offset this width, I'm gonna increase it, offset with eight pixels, round it, and click OK. I'm gonna repeat this process on this specific oval. Let's go to object, path, select offset path, and I'm gonna offset it with another eight pixels, click OK. And I'm gonna repeat this one more time with external oval. So let's go to object, path, offset, path. And this time I'm gonna increase it even more. I'm gonna try it out with 12, click OK. Let's go and select the type tool, type in something, and I'm gonna go and select the mango grotesque black. Now make sure that the text is on the bottom. I'm gonna right click on the text, arrange, and let's select send to back. And I'm gonna press and hold shift, let's select the text and the inner oval. And I'm gonna go to the object, envelope distort, and let's go and select the make with top object. Great, so now it's gonna look like this. As you can see, the gap in between the letter R and the V is kind of big. So I'm gonna go and double click on it. So it's gonna highlight the text. I'm gonna double click on the text and I'm gonna click on it and I can press and hold Alt and press the left arrow to bring it together a little bit more. Press escape, escape again. So now I'm gonna select the text. Let's go to object and select expand. Click OK. And I'm also gonna offset this text. I'm gonna go to the object, path, and select offset path. And I'm gonna increase the offset all the way down. I'm gonna go with minus one and click OK. And now let's deselect the text, select it again, right click on group all. And I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna remove the thicker versions of the letters. I also could have been selected the semi-black version of the font, so I don't need to deal with this extra step, but if I do it that way, it's gonna be like less appealing. So I'm gonna go and select all the letters, a right click, let's select group, and I'm gonna go to the object, and let's go to path, and select smooth. And here I'm gonna increase the smoothness to make the letters rounded, and it's gonna make this a really cool ink bleed effect. I'm gonna go with 16%, and I'm gonna go and select these two ovals. Let's go and swap it from stroke to fill. Press Shift plus M. Or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool and press and hold Alt. Click on this inner circle so that way it's gonna remove it. I'm gonna select the text in a circle and recolor it to some light gray. And let's select the external oval and I'm gonna swap it from stroke to fill. If this oval is on the top, you can go and right click on it, arrange, and send to back. And that's how you make this vintage grungy oval batch here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.